right, you guys, I hope you can hear me. I am in Cambridge Bay, I'm starting out my field season. It's the first day I just arrived. I have a whole bunch of um, groceries in my backpack. I keep on hearing wolves in the area. Um, this is Char's, right behind me. So that's where I do some of my research. Um, so I'm here to work on some foxes and then some dead foxes, unfortunately. And then I'm going to Carrick and I'll be doing all of my live trapping. Oh, I almost fell. <laughs> it's a lot of deep snow. And I have dogs barking at me. <laughs> all right, you guys, so I'm back inside now. I'm actually in, it's kind of like a dorm room setting, so I'm in a bunk bed. Um, I'm here for two days and then I take off for three months. So it's beautiful outside right now. It's actually almost six o'clock. You can see that it's really bright outside. So recap on the first day in the Arctic. I had probably what is going to be one of the last hot showers that I'm going to have for the next three months, which is kind of sad, but um, the trade-off is totally worth it. And uh, it was minus 26 here today, so definitely cold and I'm going to a place that's probably even colder. So tomorrow I'm gonna get started on working on some foxes. I think I have about 20 foxes to get through and then um, see how it goes. All right, so quick update. It is May 1st today and we were supposed to be leaving on the Twin Otter today, um, but unfortunately there's a lot of cloud cover outside. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to show you guys but yeah, a bit too much um, for cover for us to be heading out. I'm filming on my phone because all of my other stuff is packed. I was definitely ready to get on the plane today. Um, but we're going to try for tomorrow. So better to be safe than sorry. Um, definitely don't want to crash in the middle of the Arctic. So I'm excited to go, but we'll see if we even get to take off tomorrow. Um, it's all totally dependent. Sometimes people have had literally two week long delays here in Cambridge Bay. So I guess it all depends on the weather. So hoping and praying that it clears up. All right, we're about to take off. just arrived. I am shoveling out a bunch of snow. Okay. Yeah. Get me back. Last one. You know, almost a foot of the barrel is submerged. All of yep. it. Alright. Hey everyone. So I'm here at Carrick Lake. Um, I'm hiding from the wind because the wind's pretty bad today, but this is blocking the wind for me. Thought I'd show you around a bit. So right here, we've got the main sleeping cabin and some of our snowmobiles that we're using. This is the snowmobile shed. That's our wonderful area that we go to the bathroom. And right out there, you can see the little blue. Um, that's my tent. So that's where I've been sleeping for a while. 